everybody. My name is Cheryl and I'm your host for this very first Floss Tube collaboration entitled Designer Spotlight. If you're not familiar with what's going on right now, there are 10 of us Floss Tubers who have gotten together. We've all chosen three of our favorite designers and we all are uploading videos today, Sunday, July 14th, 2019, which we will talk about, in which we will talk about our, our three of our favorite designers. Each of the other nine participants are linked below. If you follow one of the links, watch her video, she will also have linked in her show notes the other nine, so you can chain reaction all the way through. So we, our goal was to choose designers who either are not designing but still have patterns out there. We wanted to choose somebody who may be deserving of a little more attention. We tried to choose designers who have been around for quite a while and you may not be aware of. A lot of us are old school stitchers, so we may be able to enlighten you on something that you may not know existed. You may fall in love with a new designer and new patterns. You may be enabled, we hope. So that's the intention of this collaboration. So I have chosen three designers who I think you might find interesting and they're varied, they're, they're different, different styles and hopefully you'll you'll find something that you you might like so let's get started blue ribbon designs the designer is belinda carls nace now i have some notes that i'm going to be referring to because i don't want to forget anything that i want to share with you okay so i'm not being rude i'm just looking at my notes belinda carls nace is the designer for blue ribbon designs in 2003, she stitched And They Send, which if you're familiar with that sampler, it's an Adam and Eve sampler and it's huge. It's, it's really tall and really skinny. I'm talking feet, it's huge. She stitched that on 32 count over one. Her friends encouraged her to enter her piece along with some others into the Iowa State Fair. She did and she stole the show. She was awarded several blue ribbons and that's how Blue Ribbon Designs was named. She founded Blue Ribbon Designs in 2004, and in mid-2004, her company sold, so she found herself out of work. She had eight designs ready for release, so she jumped in and she decided to make it a full-time thing because she had been designing on weekends and evenings. So she just decided to take a leap of faith and, and start designing full-time, and that's what she did. So she released her first eight designs, Everybody fell in love with her and her designs, and the rest is history. She has a beautiful style. She, she has colorful designs. She has so much variety in what she has put out over the years, and that's why I fell in love with her. I fell in love with, with Blue Ribbon years and years ago, and I might have a slight problem. <laughs> I have. Tons and tons of blue ribbon designs, but I love everything that she does. So I'm very excited because I just recently found out from her she's going to be releasing some new designs. She's going to be designing again and releasing some new designs, so I am over the moon happy about that. So she has a blog. She has a website, blueribbondesigns.com. I will link her below. So if you'd like to check out her designs, what all she's got going on, be sure and, and go to her website. Now she says she is happy to see color changes. She's happy for you to make the designs, put, it, put your own spin to them. She loves seeing different finishing techniques of her designs. She really enjoys that. Now her first design was Never Stop Growing and she said that's one of her favorites. She also loves Red Velvet Inscription Sampler, which has hidden letters, and it's her most popular design. And that is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I don't have that one yet. Quilted Garden incorporates her, both her passions of cross-stitch and quilting. She is an avid quilter and she really enjoys that. One of her dreams is to have her own quilting fabric, her own quilting cotton, so she calls all of her, her designs her babies. Now she is based out of Kansas. She recently moved and in May, so she's, she's still in the moving process, so things are a little hectic for her, but uh, she is starting to design new patterns and, and that's very exciting. 
So as far as what I've stitched um, of Belinda's designs, I am extremely drawn to these little babies. These are her sets of ornaments that she has. I should have taken these out of the plastic. I apologize. But this is Valentine's Day. Now she has she has sets for all the holidays. She has sets for this is Easter. She has sets one and two for for several holidays. I have Halloween wishes. Aren't those cute? I have patriotic wishes. Volumes one and two. They're wonderful. There are three volumes of Christmas. And I have all three of those. But these, these. I have stitched so many of these little gems. I absolutely adore them. I absolutely adore them. Now I have a set of these that my friend finished for me into ornament, pillow ornaments, and they are packed away with my Christmas things. So I'm not able to share those with you. But these are quick stitches and they're absolutely beautiful. Wonderful gifts. So those are the sentiments that she has. She also has, I'm in love with these. These are game boards. And there are tons of them. She, she, she just, this one is stop and stitch the flowers. Isn't that pretty? Tiny trees and gifts for thee. Comfort and joy. I'm not going to show you all these, but you get the gist. Isn't that pretty? Let me see. Six bats and a witch's hat is one of my favorites. Fruit smoothie. So there, there are just Indian summer. Isn't that pretty? So she has so many, so many wonderful designs. Other than those ornaments, this is another one that I have that I have finished. This is called Poinsettias and Pines, and this is one of her very popular designs as well. I stitched this one in 2010, and it says. The smell of pine, the crackling fire, all the snow one could desire. Hot cocoa with marshmallows, cookies in the kitchen, treasure the gifts that winter has given. It is absolutely beautiful. It, I love the poinsettias. I love the cardinals. Just beautiful. So, be sure. Check out Blue Ribbon Designs. Look at all that she has out there. And I hope I've enabled you a little bit. Now the next designer I've chosen is a very, very dear friend of mine. I could not do this and not feature her. Her name is Virginia and her company is VN Company. In the early 2000s, Virginia was a caregiver to her mother and she was teaching painting classes. This lady is an extremely, extremely talented artist. She paints beautiful, beautiful things. She was a caregiver for her mother, taking care of her mother. She was teaching painting classes, and some of her students wanted to learn to cross-stitch. So she combined stitching with, with painting, and she came up with her very first design. Her students cross-stitched the cardinal, and they painted the frame that it went in. Isn't that awesome? Virginia has made several frames to match her designs, which makes her very unique. Her designs are colorful, whimsical, fun, absolutely fun little designs. She loves cats. She loves birds. Anything that you can think of that's fun and happy, Virginia has in her repertoire. She started designing in 2006. She, was, she designed for eight years. 
at the end of when she when she decided to stop designing it was because everyone was purchasing one chart and sharing her charts and they were on Russian sites they were all over the internet and it was just so disheartening for her because she spent all of her time and effort and then everybody was just sharing her designs and, and it, it, it broke her heart. So she stopped designing, but she still has a trick or two up her sleeve. Last month, I did a stitch along with a design that she designed for me, especially that was No Drama Club. And I have this chart available if you would like it. And so she's, she's, still, she's still dabbling in designing. If you're interested in any of her designs, she has a blog, and I will link her blog below. And on her blog, there are several freebies that she's offering to you. And you can contact her if there are any of her designs that you're interested in. So I will link her below. So if you're interested in V and Company and any of her whimsical, colorful, beautiful, happy little designs, then be sure and contact her. All right, my last designer that I'd like to feature is with my needle. The designer is Ellen Chester. Ellen is a really, really sweet friend of mine. She is a wonderful lady, very talented. Ellen's designs feature a lot of Quakers, a lot of samplers. She is, she is a self-described sampler addict. Let me tell you a little bit about Ellen. Ellen met her husband on a blind date in college. She has been both a cover girl and a centerfold, she said. Ellen's sense of humor is just amazing. This lady is so funny. Now, let me explain the cover girl and the centerfold. The cover girl, cherished worker's sewing case, her cherished worker's sewing case, was on the cover of Fine Lines magazine some years back. She put an ornament, she had an ornament in a Just Cross Stitch ornament issue, which was in the centerfold and you couldn't see it very well. So she had good luck with the cover girl and not so good with the centerfold. So she is going to be featured on an upcoming episode of Fiber Talk. So that's exciting. She's excited about that. Now let me tell you um, what happened to her the other day. I'm, I, Ellen, I hope you're okay with me sharing this because it, it's just, she's the, only, you know, that's is, it, what she experienced is something that would happen to me, okay? So she's, she's recently been on a trip abroad with her husband. She went on vacation. So when I reached out to her to talk to her about this collaboration, she was sitting in the Newark airport in Newark, New Jersey, trying to get a flight home. She had been overseas. She was exhausted. Her flight had been delayed for weather reasons. She didn't even know if she was going to get home that night or not. So she was trying to be positive. She's always got a smile on her face and she's always just, just the sweetest thing. So 1130 at night, my time, I, you know, we were, we were on the East coast and, and, um, I messaged her and she was still in the airport. She, she wasn't sure if she was going to get home. So the next morning I messaged her first thing and I said, are you home? Are, is everything okay? She said, Oh yeah. She said, we got home at like 1230 last night. She said I had been up for 24 hours. She said, and we get home, and she said, my husband and I realized that neither one of us had the house key. So, they had to get a hotel for the night, which meant that they had to check out early the next morning, call a locksmith, and get her house open. Love her heart, you know? I, I mean, that's so something that would happen to me. So... I'm glad you're home, Ellen. I hope you're getting some rest, and I hope everything's okay. Now, Ellen contributed to a design that I have called a Most Noble Pursuit. I talked, to the, I talked about this design in one of my previous videos. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It is a Sampler Circle 2006 chart. Limited samplers is a group of 10 samplers. Each is designed by a different designer using the theme women. So Ellen is a contributor of one of these charts and I'll show you which one. I love this. 
There's an autograph page in the front of the book. Just so super cool. So let me tell you which one Miss Ellen did. I think I know, but I want to make absolutely sure before I show you which one she did. This one. All 10 of these designs are just beautiful. But that is the most noble pursuit, and Ellen was a contributor to that. Now, my favorite of all, well, I can't say that because she has so many. I love Quakers, okay, and I, I and, and Ellen has some beautiful Quakers. But anyway, my one of my favorite designs from Ellen is from 2006, and I have had this chart in my stash since 2006, and it's time to bring it out. And I'm going to announce something very exciting that I hope you'll find exciting too. This is... Aqua Friendship Book. Let me show this to you. Look. It's Quaker Designs. Now you see Ellen Chester. This is what this... Let me, let me, let me see if I can make this light a little better. Well, I keep turning it on and off. Wait a minute. I'll get it here in a minute. Okay, let me see if that's a little better. Okay. What you do is you stitch 10 pages. You assemble two of the pages sandwiched together with ribbon in between and it folds up like an accordion. When you assemble the pages, they form little pockets that you can put little memorabilia, little notes in. Isn't that beautiful? You can do it in any color you want, any fabric you want. It's just beautiful. So, Miss Ellen and I have had an idea. I am going to host a round robin for the Aqua Friendship Book. Now, these designs are still available, so if you would like to participate in the round robin, I will be giving some more information about it and open signups on my floss tube on Tuesday. I'll give you full details about how it's going to work, and it will be a round robin slash stitch along. So it's going to be a lot of fun and beautiful design and you're going to be making some new friends some new stitchy friends that will hopefully you'll form bonds that will last forever i know i have friends that i've made through this hobby that i've i've been friends with for 15 20 years so anytime you can do something with other stitchers it's 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 precious so i will be giving you details about a round robin and a stitch along in my video on Tuesday. My friend Rochelle at the Cottage Needle, she is planning to carry the blue ribbon. She has some blue ribbon designs now in her shop. She will be carrying blue ribbon designs. She's reached out to Belinda so you can get them through her. You can also get the Friendship Ackworth Friendship Book through Rochelle or through Ellen on her website, which I will link below. And also, there is a potential that you can get some of Virginia's patterns in PDFs through Rochelle very soon. So all of that is in the works. So be sure and check out each of these designers on your own. Look at the different designs that are out there. If you're interested in any of them, I hope I have enabled you. And be sure and check out the other nine ladies and see what they have to offer as far as their favorite designers. So until I see you on Tuesday on my regular Floss Tube Day, thank you so much for participating in our Floss Tube collaboration and have a wonderful day and happy stitching.